Western Christianity. That's why there's three things that we need to focus on in the black church. Since he, since he said the black church, I'm going to say the black church too. Three things we need to focus on. We need to focus on the truth about the spirituality of our African ancestors. Now, I, I, I bring that up all the time during Black History Month because they may not have known that God, but they knew that it was a supreme being. And God winked at their ignorance. So, so, but, but we need to know more about the African. We let people that enslave people, people that kill people for their land and take their position, we let those people tell us what witchcraft was and what what uh, good Christianity was. And it was always witchcraft was what our ancestors did and good Christianity was what they did even though they were killing people. They were murdering people. They were slaughtering people. They were still good Christians because we let them define it. You never let evil define what's good and evil for you. We need to understand what I, I was reading in one instance, they said they would hear the Africans in the night out there chanting and they were crowding and playing drums. These people were worshiping. But they called it witchcraft because they believed they would come into church and spring and in the she. And then they would go out and hang us, hang some Negroes after the service and still be good Christians. The Africans, they, they didn't do that. They didn't do that. They had relationship with God, even though they didn't even know God, didn't know Christ at the time. So we need to know African spirituality. We need to know Christianity of the Bible. And we need to be able to separate that from the Christianity that people like that are preaching. That's just the bottom line. It's, it's, we're living in a time of knowledge. Now let me go through some of these.